when people think of the most air polluted cities in the world, places like Beijing, New Delhi and Mumbai would most likely come to mind. But Riyadh, the place we have been living in for almost all our lives, would not even strike as an option. But believe it or not, Riyadh is ranked fourth in the list of the most air polluted cities in the whole world. How air polluted do you think Riyadh is? Well, to be honest, uh, I, I, I don't think Riyadh is polluted. It's pretty good. Yeah, so, of course, there is a bit of dust storm coming here and there. So on a scale of maybe 1 to 10, with 10 being the most polluted, how polluted would you say Riyadh is? It's about uh, 2. <laughs> It's not as bad as London. The only real pollution seems to be the dust. Car fumes aren't great, but it's better than London. So, if I would tell you that the others are the fourth most air polluted city in the world, would you believe that? I would be very surprised. Well, I, I've been to Delhi, I've been to Mumbai, yeah. and you were telling me it is worse than those places. Is that true? Stop the Now, we've never seen any of the smog that is generally associated with globally recognized polluted cities, nor have we ever witnessed people wearing anti-pollution masks. So we were quite shocked to discover the level of pollution here. We found that there are three main reasons behind the air pollution problem in Riyadh. The first being frequent sandstorms in the city, the second being carbon dioxide emissions from automobiles, and the third reason is the sulfur dioxide emissions from industrial sites on the outskirts of Riyadh. The government of KSA, now realizing the dangers posed by air pollution, is taking measures to reduce its carbon emissions by installing such systems in the busiest parts of Riyadh to monitor its air pollution levels. The government is also planting trees and flowers like these on sidewalks. However, some people may argue that this isn't actually helpful. But hey, it's the small things that matter in the end. Saudi Arabia is also attempting to switch to renewable sources of energy. This is a fairly new concept to Saudi Arabia, but the country's Vision 2030 program plans to help protect the environment by decreasing its dependency on oil. While the government is doing its part, we as individuals should take the responsibility for our home too. We can help by minimizing the use of electricity, growing plants, recycling, etc. Our group is trying to raise awareness about this pressing issue by passing out flyers and posters to raise public awareness and encourage them to make a change.